was for breakfast. Marketplace Fruit Loops, that costs $6. Good morning, you guys. We're just approaching the entrance of the CND Canal. That's the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. And it's a canal that goes from the top of the Chesapeake Bay all the way across like 14 miles or something to the top of the Delaware Bay. Not the very top, but like up there. And we're crossing through it. it started off as a beautiful morning, really nice sunrise, and then it got pretty crappy and now it's windy and rainy. I woke up at 3 a.m. In the morning and started. I woke up at 3.30, I left our bed, and I came to sleep out here with him. Yeah, the CR did come keep me company at 3 a.m. But the reason I had to wake up at 3 a.m. because when you're going through the CMD Canal, at least for us at really slow speeds, it's important that you catch a favorable current or a favorable tide because the tide can rip through here. It can be two knots, maybe over a little over two knots. So let me show you on the map here. For those of you guys who are curious, we use Navionics on an iPad for navigation. So this is the top of the Chesapeake over here. This is a C&D Canal. And this is the Delaware Bay on this side. And the current in the C&D Canal flows with an incoming tide this way to the east. So we had to make sure we were catching that incoming tide as we go all the way through the Delaware Canal, C&D Canal. And then just, we timed it really well. So just as we're gonna be approaching the exit of the canal here at Reed Point, the tide's gonna be switching and it'll be outgoing tide and we'll ride that outgoing tide down the Delaware Bay. The only unfortunate part is that the wind is picking up pretty strong from the Southwest. So as we go down that Delaware Bay, it's not gonna be a really nice direction. So it might get a little choppy in there. But we did time the, the tide perfectly. We're ripping along. We've been averaging at least seven knots all the way from where we anchored last night, which was Swan, where was it? Swan Creek. And uh, we've just been ripping up into the canal. And I want to show you guys something else that's really cool. So all commercial boats have something called AIS. It's like a, a signal that they s send out and you can also receive it from boats if you have the right equipment. And there's an app on the phone called Boat Beacon and it hasn't been working for me recently, but it used to work really well. And you can actually go on the app as long as you have internet and you can see where all these commercial vessels are in relation to you, which is awesome. But I don't know why it hasn't been working, but check this out. So there's also a website that you can do the same thing and it doesn't show you your location. I'm not sure, I haven't tried to link my location with it yet, but you can go around. This is where we are right now, right about here. And you can see all the commercial vessels around you. So here's a boat. This was uh, the last position received. That was 23 hours ago, so that's not relevant anymore. But the ones that I've been looking at have been pretty accurate. We saw, as we were coming up here, there were two tugs coming down from the north, and it was uh, spot on with their position within minutes. And it says the name of the boat, it says how fast they're going, and it says usually says where they're going to. Here's a boat right here. Updated two minutes ago going six knots through the canal and then if you click on it You can actually see what it is. So this looks like vessel's name is Schumann uh, I guess you can you can upgrade for full access information Just a cool website for you guys to know about if you're interested I'll put it in the, the link in the description, but it's called marine traffic.com This is the C&D Canal behind me, and this is the Delaware Bay. We're gonna go south down the Delaware Bay. We're 
in the Delaware Bay. It started off pretty nice and calm up towards the canal part of the bay because it's pretty skinny up there. But now we have a strong southwest wind. It's like 20 knots. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so if we're aiming straight for Cape May, which that's where we're going, that wind is directly at our beam. And now we're in the lower part of the bay, so it's much, much wider. There's much more of a fetch for this uh, wind to build up some uh, chop. And, and there's actually, there's definitely some swell in here, a little beyond the chop. So instead of going for Cape May, we're actually like kind of doing a little tap and head side into the wind for a while and then we'll head side uh, with the wind and that'll be a much more comfortable motion. It might take a little bit longer to get there but it'll be more comfortable. Check this out. Jetty does not like this. When it's super rough out, Jetty it has to be held. She will not just like lay in her bed or whatever. behind me is Delaware. It got way, way too rough. So we, we had to turn south towards Delaware to get in the lee and just take cover. It's supposed to blow 50 miles an hour tomorrow. So I don't know. It was like definitely 20 to 30 knots today. Crazy before. And yeah, tonight's supposed to be like 30 knots gusting the 50 and tomorrow morning. So we'll see We'll see, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> see you later.